When I was a young shortwave listener 56 years ago, I had a Lafayette KT340 desktop radio with connectors on the back for an antenna and a ground. I always hooked up my 75-foot long wire to the ANT post and connected the GND post to a water pipe or something. Life was good. Nowadays, I have many portable radios, and with the exception of my vintage Panasonic RF-085, there aren't any explicit ground connections. Still, several of my portables have an external antenna jack that takes a phone plug with a sleeve and a tip connection. One reads online not to bother with a ground on these radios, but I've had a different experience sometimes. I've often said that I don't get long wave where I live. There is just nothing on. Today I was trying to receive an experimental broadcast on long wave. I took my Texan PL990 radio outdoors to my 20-foot wire up a tree antenna, where there is also a copper ground rod, to see if I could catch the station. No luck. But as I was scanning long wave, just for grins, I came across a very strong AM Morse signal repeating MSQ on 351 kilohertz. It's the Culpeper, Virginia Regional Airport, broadcasting with a reported power of 25 watts. This is no once-in-a-lifetime DX reception, as the airport is only 48 miles from me. Now here's where it gets interesting. As I said, the radio station was quite strong on my PL990 with the wire up a tree antenna connected to the external tip and the ground rod to the sleeve and the radio switched to use the external antenna. When I attempted to receive the station on the internal ferrite antenna, there was nothing whatever. Zilch. Nada. I went back to the external antenna but disconnected the ground. The station was barely audible. Signal strength with the antenna was 19 to 20 and without 4 to 6 decibel micro units. Simply put, the ground connection made a world of difference. Here is the video. The red wire goes to the tip and the black wire to the ground from the radio. The antenna has the black clip and the silver is ground. I repeated the experiment with my PL330 radio that has a hidden feature to use an external antenna on medium wave and long wave. The results were similar, except that the reception was not as strong as it was on the PL990.